A candidate for election made a speech in city A but not in city B. A sample of 500 voters from city A showed that 59.6% of the voters were in favor of him where he had made speech. Whereas a sample of 300 voters from city B showed that 50% of the voters favored him. Discuss whether his speech has produced any effect on voters in city A. The last sentence, I am going to repeat it. Discuss whether his speech has produced any effect on voters in city A. In city A, he delivered the speech and in B, he did not deliver a speech. That means this is the case of one tail test. The proportion of the voters who are in favor of the candidate is greater in city A than the proportion in city B. Whether his speech is effective or not, that can be checked through that logic. So, it is the case of one tail test. The proportion of the persons in favor of the candidate is greater in city A than the same proportion in city B. Then, if this hypothesis, equality hypothesis is rejected and this one tail no, uh, alternative hypothesis is actually there in conclusion, then we can say that the speech is effective. So, we are going to write a very simple null hypothesis. The speech is not effective, that means the proportion in two towns is same. And then alternative hypothesis is the speech is effective, that means the proportion in town A is greater than the proportion in town B. Yes, so this is case of one tail test. Ultimately, we have found that type of sum. A sample of 500 voters from city A, that means N1 is 500, produced or rather showed that 59.6% of voters, that means P cap 1 is readily available, 59.6%, that means 0 0.596. Whereas a sample of 300 voters from city B, so second sample, size is 300 showed that 50% of the voters favored him, P cap 2, 50% that means 0.5, use 5% level, that is also given, so level of significance to be taken into consideration is 5% or alpha 0 0.05. First calculation of capital P, P cap 1 into N1, plus P cap 2 into N2 divided by N1 plus N2. Since X1 and X2 are not readily available, we have to use this formula. 0 0.596 into 500 plus 0 0.5 into 300 <coughs> upon 500 plus 300. Point five nine six into five hundred. Yes. <coughs> Two hundred ninety eight. Yes. So P comes to four hundred forty eight divided by eight hundred. Point five six. Point five six. Now, no hypothesis. The speech has not produced any effect on voters. That means the proportion of voters in favor of the candidate in city A as well as city B are more or less same, no difference. HO, P1 that means proportion in city A equals to P2 that means proportion in city B. Now alternative hypothesis.
द स्पीच हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड एन इफेक्ट ऑन वॉटर्स P1 that means proportion of the people in favor of the candidate greater than P2 that means proportion in favor of the candidate in city B one tailed test the speech can be proven to be effective only if the proportion is greater in case of the city where the speech was delivered yes okay level of significance five percent that means alpha is zero point zero five no need to or rather please don't divide it by two this is case of one tail test this is the case of z test so degree of freedom infinite critical value of z 5% and one tail test alpha 0.05 so column of 0.05 yes it is 1.645 now calculation of z p1 minus p2 cap minus p1 minus p2 upon under root capital p into 1 minus capital p divided by n1 plus capital p into 1 minus capital p divided by n2 so the proportion is 0.596 Minus 0.5 minus 0 upon under root 0.56 into 0.44 divided by 500 plus 0.56 into 0.44 divided by 300. Be careful, the equation is with very small values. 0 0.096 divided by now what is the exact result of the denominator use memory plus sign 0 0.56 into 0 0.44 divided by 500 equal to and then memory plus again 0 0.56 into 0 0.44 divided by 300 equal to memory plus then memory recall and square root. Point zero three six one. Point nine zero three six one nine one nine. Okay. So that will be greater than two. It is clear. So that is.
calculated value is greater than the critical value. So, we have to reject the HO. Conclusion is nothing but R. HA P1 greater than P2. That means the speech has produced an effect on waters. 